Yes, Democrats and the weak-willed, spineless Republicans that let it happen should all apologize loudly for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but instead, they're stepping on the gas to step on your rights as American citizens, targeting free speech as hate speech, and treating speaking up and telling the truth as some kind of crime in modern America. They want to demolish the First Amendment. I mean, demolish it. And that is just a good start from their point of view. They want to criminalize driving your car to work, heating and cooling your home, having hot water, or even having a refrigerator to keep your food cold. They want to criminalize all the things that make first world countries, well, first world countries. They want to divide you by race while screaming racism. They applaud the lowering of standards under the misguided idea that somehow, by doing so, the world will be a better place. And that also feeds the fictional need of more diversity, equity, and inclusion, as if I picked my doctor based on race or gender. Newsflash, I don't. They have spent the past 20 years or more coming after Christians and painting Christians as the bad guys in America. They've also shown their true colors when it comes to Jews as well. In fact, if you are a follower of either, you're almost certainly a racist, a white supremacist, or a white nationalist. And according to this administration, you are the biggest threat to this nation. That, of course, is all a lie. But they don't care. You see, they don't care about that. They don't care about you or your kids or your quaint little church and quaint little church family. They don't care about those things at all. In fact, they only care about two things, power and money. Over the weekend, the Democrats and their weak-willed, spineless Republican cohorts unveiled a new constitutional assault on you if you missed it. They announced there is a brand new effort to come after your guns. One that is completely illegal from what I can tell, but again, they don't care. Here's Vice President Kamala Harris laying it out. The second reason I am here is to announce that today I am launching the National Resource Center for red flag laws. And this National Resource Center will be a place where we will, through that, provide for training for local leaders on how to use red flag laws and keep communities safe. Yeah, here comes NERPO. NERPO sounds like a Sesame Street character, but it is the National Extreme Risk Protection Order. And NERPO means they can confiscate your guns if someone files a complaint. Many states have these so-called red flag laws in place already. In fact, every state in the union has some form to do this. And I want to be totally clear. This is what they're going for. And I say they because this is not something Congress put together. This is not something your member of Congress or your senators voted on. No, this is another unconstitutional power grab by Joe Biden and his ever more lawless administration. So, okay, instead of coming right at you, they work around the edges. They're not going to come right at you and say, hey, we're going to take your guns. They're not going to do that. They're going to work around the edges and disqualify as many people as possible from owning guns quietly, very quietly. I mean, if you were jammed up and the police came and pounded on your door and demanded you surrender all of your guns, who would you tell? I'm guessing a whole lot of people wouldn't tell anyone. They'd be embarrassed. And over time, they'll continue to use every tool in the toolbox to make people forfeit their God-given right to self-defense and self-preservation. They'll scan social media. I mean, AI will scan social media. Analyze where you live. Study what you watch on TV. Look at what kinds of things you buy from the store and what stores you spend your money will all be considered. All of it. Yes, this is happening. And it's just the latest brazen assault on you, your country, and, of course, our Constitution. None of this is legal. But who's fighting back? The attack on us from all directions is happening faster all the time. I call it the quickening. And they're getting really good at it. If you can keep people off balance, you can really get some things done. And they know that by going down roads like this. They have a shot at keeping power forever, which is the goal. It may not happen this year, but it's not that far away unless things change. You know that, and so do I. 